repulsive hypocrites. Megan Decay, as Piers Morgan, teases them over their kiss and tell trailer. Piers Morgan has hit out at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after watching the trailer for their new series about life in the royal family. The TV host at 57 labelled the former royals as hypocrites and described their new show as a kiss and tell. He had made the comments on Twitter where he had shared the trailer of the upcoming documentary Harry and Meghan, which is coming out soon to the streaming platform. Morgan had wrote, Imagine bleating out privacy and then doing a kiss and tell reality series about your private lives. Then imagine preaching compassion and you trash your family again. As the image releasing its first trailer, deliberately to ruin your brother's big trip to America, repulsive for hypocrites. The trailer itself features a number of intimate pictures of the couple throughout the relationship. Before Prince Harry says, no one sees what is happening behind closed doors. He then admits that he did everything that he could do to protect his family. Megan adds, When the stakes are this high, you don't make more sense to hear our story from us. However, while Morgan might have been happy about the trailer for the upcoming series, a lot of people were quick to jump to the couple's defense. One had wrote, It is not really that difficult to understand. Privacy isn't about people who have zero knowledge of your life and living up to the mountains as a hermit. Privacy is you having control over what people can know about your life and living your life accordingly. A second had joked, she rejected you, didn't she, Piers? Imagine complaining about two people, yet giving their new show a lot more exposure. Remarked a third, while the fourth had wrote, Piers with the free advertising. However, some people did agree with the outspoken TV host. One agreed, writing that these two would have had more privacy if they had stayed in the royal family. Instead of moving to LA and going on to Oprah, Netflix and other outlets to constantly portray themselves as victims. They are complete frauds. You made some great points there, Piers. Agreed a second. I think Meghan is the influence of the thing that Harry has been doing. Harry and Meghan announced they were stepping down as senior members of the royal family back in January 2020. And after moving to California, the pair then gave a sensational interview with Oprah Winfrey, where they had claimed that a number of factors prompted them to leave, including the alleged racism and privacy concerns. Women are calling for Oli Murr's new single to be taken off air due to its cruel and disgusting lyrics. The track is titled, I Hate You When You're Drunk, and you can probably tell from the title, the song is all about despising the behaviour of a loved one when they are boozed up. The former X Factor contestant, new tune is upbeat and jaunty, as they'd expect from this brand of bland pop. But people think that the lyrics are actually quite sinister. The track opens. You are slurring all your words. There's makeup on your shirt. You're dancing on the tables you can't see. You look like a mess. You're singing Whitney Woo. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Hate you where you're drunk. In the second verse, the 38 year old sings, Oh, you got them drunken eyes. Should we call it a night? Because you've been telling stories four to five times. Yeah, I've heard it before, and my ears are bleeding. Woo. And the chorus follows as the similar theme. Because you want to buy champagne, and you want to throw the shots back. And now you're talking photographs. Why are you the only one that don't laugh? Oh, I hate you, hate you, I hate you, hate you, when you're drunk. So quit acting like a fool, because I hate you when you're drunk. Most in wrinkling hatred. Of his pissed company won't be subsiding the day after either.